Welcome, everyone, and Happy New Year's Day. Welcome to 2019. I hope 2018 was good to you. And I want everybody to have a great 2019. Get what you want done. Do the things that make you feel satisfied, and that's about the, the most of it. So I want to talk about headlight restoration, and I've got a video here on that. I've done three cars, and I just want to explain my process and my you know, brief history and studying the stuff. Um, so one headlight restoration doesn't really show up until a necessity. Like you want to sell your car or you pull up to another car and you go to the store and you come back and you happen to see the front end and you notice that your headlights just look jacked and other people's headlights look, excuse me, brand new. And you're like, man, mine are, mine are just terrible. So you may have a couple of reasons for wanting to do headlight restoration or think about it. Um, not so much head restoration, but getting headlights that look new again. And you may go to the store and, and quote them online and find out they're several hundred to a thousand dollars. I mean, depending if you have HIDs or not, you know, and you think, wow, this is, you know, six, seven hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, you know, eight hundred dollars, whatever it is. It's just an insane amount of money for headlights just to, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe you failed to not recognize how much headlight um, you're, you're losing, how much of the, of the beam you're losing at night when you drive. You, these things are dim. Like, I can't hardly see anything. And you just don't really put two and two together to think that your headlights are what do that. Uh, strangely enough, people, they don't understand. So, uh, you know, you get in your car at night, and you're like, man, these, these are, are they on high beams or what? Like, you can't figure out why you can't see the road. Um, so maybe you're looking to do it for safety reasons, uh, loss of light during nighttime driving, uh, maybe just appearance, or, you know, you've put a used car up for sale that's been the daily driver for you guys for 20 years and you want to get rid of it and you're just not getting the views or the likes or the interest that you want. And I'm here to tell you, if you have a plain Jane kind of beater car and it has crappy headlights, it's just 50% lower than what it would be with brand new headlights that are just gleaming, right? So you get that 20 year old car, you get the headlights replaced or you, or you restore them yourself and then bam, it's just, it takes, it just adds a touch of um, quality to the vehicle that you just really can't get any other way. Um, paint work is another one that really sells a car, but headlights, believe it or not, are a huge ticket uh, toward getting the eye appeal that you need to, in order to maybe even help sell your car or just to make an older car look good. So I do it for two reasons, safety, and I just want my cars to look nice and, and be protected. So my history with, with learning about this process was I just studied YouTube for about a year, just out of, it, just out of sheer interest, just seeing what was out there. And I, let me tell you something, I saw every snake oil thing you could possibly imagine. I've watched at least a thousand videos on this subject on YouTube. And it amazes me how much people really don't understand the process or how much they just don't know what they're talking about in general. Um, they try to use all these inferior methods. They don't, they don't get the result. They say they do, you know, insect repellent and WD-40 and, you know, peanut butter and Colgate toothpaste and can you do this and that. And it's just a joke. It's an absolute joke. I, I, you know. And I've seen people sell this service either on YouTube or, or other areas or other medias. And I was like, oh, hell no. I would never take my car to that guy. Um, the, and they, they even demonstrate their process. And I'm like, I wouldn't let you with a 20-foot pole come near my car. And, <laughs> you know, they're selling this stuff, guys. And the commercial industry is selling you crap at the AutoZone and at the local O'Reilly's and Walmart and everything and you know and they've got it about half right but that's it <laughs> so don't waste your money the stuff that you're seeing here in this first picture is everything I, that you need to do the job to get it to near perfect you're not going to be perfect because perfect is new and these aren't new so you know if you're looking for a perfect go buy a new set you know if you want near perfect then you've got this you know so I would say this is 95 to 98% of what new would be because they are used headlights. And if they've gone too long, then you will have some artifacts inside the plastic that's just been damaged that can't be undone. 
and that goes from the inside the plastic to you know it within the within the material itself to the backside and you'll see some slivers and stuff on 20 year old headlights that you've restored but you will never get that out you turn the headlights on and you'll see these little bit of slivers light up and that's just because the plastic's done it's just beyond repair at that point but can you improve the quality of that headlight that 20 year old headlight yes you can and you can make it look dang good and when the lights aren't on you can't see any of those artifacting they look perfect and you'll see that in these uh, slides to come but anyway the process is you sand you polish and then you seal it with the uv inhibited uh, sealer and what that is is the uv inhibitor is sunscreen for your plastic your skin your skin will burn if you don't have sunscreen on out in the sun same thing with everything else that that gets hit with uv rays so without that you're done so basically you're going to wet sand three different grades start anywhere from a thousand and work your way up to 2500 the more the better it's just however much you want to spend time doing it it's about five minutes maybe five minutes maybe four minutes per uh, sanding grit per headlight and then you will spend literally 60 seconds on each headlight polishing it and then you know the time it takes to put the sealant on so an hour's job no problem I uh, use a uh, Makita M12, uh, no, I'm sorry, not a Makita, but a Milwaukee M12 polisher with the three inch wool pad, Shoal Concepts S20, um, uh, buffing compound, and then Jet Seal's uh, Jet Seal is a UV uh, protectant coating that lasts for up to one year. So it's a 12 month application. So you just put this on every 12 months, you're fine because uh, what you are doing is sanding off the factory clear coat that has the UV inhibitors in it once that once those have broken down and are gone it starts to damage the headlight so you want to catch them early as early as you can if you got a new vehicle put this jet seal on from day one it'll never fade problem solved you don't have to do any of this if you've got great headlights go ahead and put this stuff on I'm not sponsored by jet seal or anything I just know that this stuff works they've done they've had headlight restoration uh, a video up that has had over 16 months of just one application of jet seal and there's zero uh, UV effects to uh, to the headlight so I'm sold on it so a one-year application uh, is what it is and so once a year you're done anybody that does not use blue painters tape or some type of a masking material to tape off the paint while they're sanding or doing any of this work is not professional they will damage your paint they don't care I don't know if they're ignorant or they just don't care whatever it is but uh, uh, it, you'll know the ones that are that are real about it ones that aren't by simply if they if they're using tape or not they're at least they're trying to protect they're aware of it they're conscious of it um, if you're going to pay for a service this is the steps that it has to take whether they spray on the uv stuff i'm not a fan of aerosols or any type of spray and if they do that they're if they don't mask off your entire car you're going to get overspray on your car i do not allow for that so i don't like anything that uses a spray for that reason it's just harder to, to deal with you can use it, but um, it's not going to give you, you know, any more longer uh, UV protection than the Jet Seal. You have to apply stuff. You have to keep a protective coating on it constantly. Forget the factory clear coat. So uh, this will do the exact same thing and last you one year, and it's so easy to reapply. So, but anyway, uh, they, they, you definitely need to mask it off uh, with as much tape as you can get on there because sandpaper cuts through tape pretty easy so when you're sanding and you're just going to town you don't want to be worried that you're cutting through paint other than that you follow those rules you're gonna be fine uh, literally anybody can do this you, if you don't want to do it if you don't have a polisher you can always go get a drill and an adapter they sell them real easy uh, and you can use a high-speed drill that would be fine just the, the uh, polishers are a little easier to manipulate uh, I would definitely get the three inch pad um, as you can get in the little corners and stuff. You'll see three headlights that I've done, a 97 Taurus, a 20, uh, 2008 Chrysler 300C, and then a 2010 Lexus RX 350. Then the 97 Taurus had jacked headlights. You'll see that. And they came out phenomenal. They have a little bit of that artifacting or slivers when you turn the lights on, but that's because they're 20 years old with no protection. But they do look awesome. And the headlight, the clarity and the headlight, uh, you know, it's just awesome. The second one is a 08 Chrysler 300C, and it was a little harder to get the clear coat off. They weren't bad, but they weren't new. And so, we, you know, I wanted to get those up to new spec, and they that, that came out really, really good. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Um, it did take twice as long on the first sanding 
uh, to get that uh, shiny appearance off. It should be completely matte, no shine whatsoever, completely dull matte, and that's when you know you can start up the other grades. Um, but that one took longer. The third one is uh, the 2010 Lexus, and it just had started to break down um, on the on the driver's side. The passenger side had been replaced due to an accident, and I was noticing that the left one, the, the driver's side, was obviously broke down. So that one came off. I started out with 1500 worked on it. It's a pretty big headlight. Um, that one to replace would have been $650. So this was the main reason why I wanted to get into this, uh, at least to attempt it, and it came out like a winner. I'm just thoroughly impressed. You'll see a picture of that. So bottom line, you can do it yourself. And if anybody wants to sell you a service, make sure that they are not only protecting your investment, your paint job, whatever it is, no matter how crappy it is, um, that, and that, that they also seal it with something um, that is at least a one year uh, product. And if they're not doing that, then, then you're getting ripped off. So yeah, anytime they use any other process than that, um, you're really not going to get the results that you're after. Um, you know, stay away from the snake oils, the, the insect repellent, the this, the that. That's all garbage. The stuff you buy at the store is garbage. Don't waste your money. Um, just, you know, either do this or you can buy, you can basically buy, you don't have to buy a big tub of this compound. You can buy any, you know, comp body compound that will polish, but, uh, you know, the shoal stuff, you can get it in different quantities. So I would say, you know, if you already had a drill, you know, the jet seal is, you know, $13, $14 on Amazon. You can get the, the sanding paper for $7 a pack, uh, 45 pieces a pack. So, you know, not 20 bucks there. And it's a little bit of compound. Uh, you might spend another 20 uh, pad, you know, three, four, five dollars. I don't know what they are. Maybe you can get some at Harbor Freight. But you're not talking a lot of money here. I mean, it's, you know, it's 60 bucks. 60 to 80 bucks and you will be able to do every headlight in your entire fleet and your families <laughs> so um it doesn't take a lot here guys to do it and they'll, they'll charge you well over 60 bucks so you know it's not uncommon to get a 150 dollar job i would i've seen these go from 60 to 150 bucks depending on what headlight it is um the main thing with trying to attempt this is can i go out and buy headlights cheaper than 60 bucks and if the answer is yes go out and do it you know, some vehicles like this Taurus, they go for about 30 bucks a headlight. So this would have been about a break even if I'd have bought all the materials. Maybe I could have saved a little money by just buying the headlight, but I was using it as an experiment. So that worked out great. And that just led me on to do the Chrysler and the Lexus. So I'm thoroughly happy that I've done this. Um, I can do any, I can do it anytime I want. It takes an hour and I, I know I can achieve these results and have, and have something that's protected as well to, to completely seal the deal, so to speak. So anyway, if you guys like what you see, let me know. I um, hope you've had a good one. Enjoy it. And I'll, please like and subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate all the subs. And um, I'll see you next one.